All right guys, so a lot of you guys have been asking whether you should wait for your Model Y or you just pick it up now. And I personally told you my opinion in previous videos. I told you many times that I think right now it's a really bad time to buy it because you're buying old technology pretty much for the same price as if you would a few weeks from now. Now personally, I'm very firm on that point. However, if you guys are interested in picking up a vehicle right now, I don't really blame you because of the federal incentive. $7,500 plus anything that your state gives you on top of that is a bonus. But I do think that if you guys waited a little bit longer, you'll be able to get the $7,500 incentive, your state incentive, as well get superior technology built within your car. Now, I'll just talk about hardware four and a new radar, but we really haven't talked about the interior changes and the exterior changes we're possibly gonna be seeing on March 1st about Project Highland. Now, at this point, we're pretty clueless about Project Highland and what they're doing internally. We've only seen a vehicle driven on the street with bumper coverings from front and back, but just looking at it from a distance and nobody really pulling off the bumper covers, we're really seeing exactly the same shape and design. So we're not too sure of what's gonna be happening, but definitely from now until summer of 2023, we're gonna see some kind of interior change as well as some kind of exterior change. All right, now the main question here really is if hardware four is gonna be coming to the Cybertruck first, or is it gonna go on to Model 3 and Model Y first? Now, I think at this point, Model S and X is out of the question because they are luxury vehicles. And as you guys can tell from previous experiences, they do like to beta test older versions of cars before they put it on to uh, the luxury version. This is for them to work out all the kinks and bugs to make sure that the luxury people, that the people that are able to afford it, aren't gonna be having to deal with any of those situations. So just as far as I can remember, they removed the radar and relied on Tesla Vision. They didn't move Model S and X over to Tesla Vision before they did it on the 3 and Y. And then they went ahead and removed the parking sensors on the 3 and Y, and now they just finally did it on the S and X as well, although we still don't have any software version of Tesla Vision yet. But now let's talk about hardware 4 here, and honestly, you guys really made me rethink myself here because I swear I heard during the conference call that Tesla said that Cybertruck is going to go into production in the summer of 2023, but hardware 4 is gonna come before that. So I went ahead and I re-listened to the whole thing just for you guys and yeah I can give you confirmation now that that's exactly what was said so for sure we're gonna be seeing hardware 4 on the Model 3 and Model Y before the production of Cybertruck even happens and I think this completely makes sense you don't want to put the newest hardware newest untested software into a production vehicle especially the Cybertruck which has been highlighted all this time about being one of the best trucks to come on the road right now and then it comes with broken hardware and untested software and it cripples the whole experience of the Cybertruck truck and it's gonna get tons of coverage all over the web a newspaper any media source out there that cyber truck is going downhill we obviously don't want that so it definitely makes sense that they're gonna be testing it on the cheaper versions of the model 3 and model Y now I don't know about you guys but if I was Tesla and I wanted to make sure that software and hardware is working correctly I'm gonna be testing it on older vehicles and vehicles that are mass marketed so people are more lenient because their car is not super expensive they don't expect things to work 100% all the time but the same can't be said for luxury vehicles let's say a Mercedes S class you want it to be perfect from the time you picked it off the lot until the time you return it into the dealership it's just how it is you don't want gimmicky software gimmicky hardware in vehicles that hasn't been tested so i guess to sum this all up for any of you guys out there that are on the verge of buying a model y or model 3 and you guys haven't done so already put that thing on hold because you're gonna get better technology in a few months time and we're not looking too far off but definitely not gonna be in the next month or so unfortunately after hearing the earnings call again it looks like they will be going into production in summer of 2023 but that's the thing with Tesla they typically always try to put hardware into vehicles first and then they start announcing the software and the capabilities a few months after. The same thing went for the radar system, the same thing went for the lumbar for passenger, and the same thing even went for the Ryzen chip in the MCU. It was already in the vehicles way before Tesla or Elon even announced it on Twitter. If you just hold off a little bit, maybe until March, you might have a vehicle that already has the hardware in place, like the new radar, the cooling fan, and even the heating element for the side pillars. Those might already all be in place, but the software and the announcement hasn't really happened yet. But the one key thing you guys want to look out for, of course, is the new cameras. As you guys can see, the leaks from China internal memos shows that they do have updated front cameras 
Now it's two cameras instead of three. And if you guys want to know more about that, I will drop a link right up top there as well as the description below, letting you guys know exactly what they found and all the changes we should be seeing in the new hardware for system. So there you guys have it. This is all that I know so far. And this is my personal opinion on the situation at the moment. If you guys have any other thoughts or you guys want to share anything else, let me know in the comments below. I will try to respond to every single of the comments out there. And if it's interesting enough and it's something I haven't already said, I will definitely do another video and I will shout you guys out for that. So uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, you know what to do. This is John once again. Peace out.